Hey everybody, it's Romania Black and happy holidays. So I officially am done with Death Note, the anime. I still have lots of Death Note content that I want to review. Obviously we still have the Netflix movie, which I've not watched yet. Uh, I recently got the manga set, so I'm gonna be reading it to do a manga review and reaction with you all. And we have the Death Note musical. So we have plenty of Death Note content to come in January. I'm probably going to post on Sundays alongside Mob Psycho. Um, with the Death Note content so you guys can see that in the afternoons, right? Um, because we're starting Bungo Stray Dogs. So my original intent was to have Death Note go all throughout January because I thought Bungo Stray Dogs was going to be at the like end of January and instead it's at the beginning. So win all around, right? Um, but I've been requested to look at the Simpsons uh, Death Note parody and I had originally gotten a Hulu subscription because I eventually at some point, <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing Bleach. And so I had gotten it anyway this month. And so I was like, well, I might as well bust it out to do the Death Note parody from The Simpsons. Now, I watched The Simpsons a bit way back in like the early 2000s, like right when The Simpsons was at the height where it was like The Simpsons versus South Park. I watched it a bit then, but I've not kept up The Simpsons. I know the characters. I know Krusty the Clown. I know Bart, Lisa, Marge, Homer, all them. I've not really kept up with the storylines at all. Um, but I was told that Studio Madhouse actually went and did this parody. And I was like, wow, they took the time to do this. And I originally thought it was like a full 22 minute episode. And then when I sat down and started watching, I like sat down and saw like a screen cap and it was like the Treehouse of Horror 33, which is insane. The Simpsons has been going that long. It's like 34 seasons. I was like, oh, so this is not an entire episode of Death Note. So it's not, it's like a chunk of an episode. This is kind of like a vignette of different sketches. So I watched the first sketch just now, which was a parody of The Babadook, um, which I hate horror movies. I'm easily scared. So I was just like, okay, well, that's what it's about now. Cool, don't have to watch The Babadook. But then when I saw it was starting to transition over and I heard the dong, I was like, okay, now we're doing Death Note. So I've not watched this yet, but I do, I just like did the little thumbnail, see where it about started and then watched up to it to make sure I didn't accidentally skip over anything. So I'm really excited. I Now that I've seen Death Note in its entirety, I feel like I will get all the references. I know this came out on Halloween, but at that point I was like, I feel like I've not seen enough of it and I didn't want to be spoiled in case if The Simpsons did some sort of like reference to the end. So I'm glad I can watch it now, but yeah. So thank you all so much for your support this year. Thank you for following on my Death Note journey. I'm sure I'll be saying that a lot more as we get into the manga review and things like that. But this is just gonna be something a little fun, a little fun to talk about um, as we, you know, move into the next phase of looking at Death Note and reacting and reviewing it. So I'm really excited to see how will The Simpsons parody Death Note because The Simpsons is a Western show and this is an anime. So what kind of references will we do? But in any case, we're going to start the Simpsons parody of the Death Note. And we're going to do that here in three, two, one. And God, let's see what they do with this. Ah, oh, that was amazing. That was so damn good. So damn good. I want to go back and we would talk about this. We talk about this. I, Madhouse. I freaking loved this so much. I really can't describe to you all how much I loved this. <laughs> I just, there's, here's the thing. The one thing about Simpsons is that they will at least do their research enough, right? They'll do their research enough about something they're going to parody to at least know enough about it to where if you, if you are a fan of that medium or that reference, you're going to enjoy it. And Madhouse deserves all the aplomb for just doing the style, like seeing the Simpsons in the Death Note style is so damn good. And the attention to detail, like this was not a, a hackneyed quick parody. This took them time to draw and do properly. I'm so amazed by it. I can't get over it. And Lisa being light, I know enough about the Simpsons 
to know that Lisa would be the one that would be like, like, she's the prodigy. She's the intelligent one that has like the righteous sense of justice about her and the sense of doing good and the idealism. I also love how they frame this world as being like the worst possible. So like the first thing you see in this dreary, damp, gloomy environment is the caged cutlet, extra cute veal, like, like killing baby calves. <laughs> That's like the first thing you see. And so then we see like where she's like disgusting. They even have the twins, the purple haired twins as like anime characters in the background, which is amazing. But they have her like, they have her with the light eyes and then the hair is done in the same style as him, which is great for Lisa. But they have like, oh my God, they have all creatures great and cheap. And then they have somebody like throwing a car off a cliff like on the television and she's like the human race is 20 cow farts away from extinction and there's like baby seal perfume like it's the worst possible world ginger gender reveal napalm like there's so many little tiny one-shot jokes that are absolutely amazing she's like we're this close to extinction and we deserve it and then we see the death tome fall down now there are some changes to this that i thought are actually really neat and I almost kind of wish it would have been interesting to see if the actual series had done like two of these twists. One of which being, I like that they're like, yes, if you write your name in the death tome, they'll meet their death and be dead. <laughs> like, it's really funny. But then I love the fact that they're like, in order to use it, you have to write down their names and everyone has to die a very different death. You can't use the same deaths twice that would have been interesting that would have limited like quite a bit because like she like the joke is you run out of ideas on how to kill someone and like where steve johnson which is crusty as ryu where he's like really a toilet gator and she's like i got i got out of ideas and then there's like a lion come out of the toilet that would have been interesting that would have been interesting to see like what if light had done that right and she's like, and of course, the funny thing is with Lisa's character in The Simpsons, she's like, well, that's stupid. Kind of like what Light says, but she's like, but I never throw away a book. <laughs> like that's very much in character with Lisa, right? And I love that when she goes home, Marge and Homer in the Death Note style is amazing. But there's so many little details. Like there's a portrait of them married on the wall and like Homer has hair and everything. And then... Like the eyes and everything, like it's still done in the same style as Death Note. It, it's so good. But of course, internet sensation Tofu the cat is kidnapped in a hostage situation. In Death Note, it's there's children in a hostage situation. And in this, it's the cat that spurs Lisa to do anything, right? It's great. I love that it's the bully. It's the bully that has the cat held hostage. And she's like, I could stop this guy. It's never going to work. And she's like, well, even if it doesn't, it'll feel good to do some journaling. Like, you know, okay, so we have there the death tome. Any person whose name is written in the death tome will meet their deaths and be dead. You must specify how the victim will die and you may not kill in the same way twice. And the other rules are to supply chain issues, death by falling anvil is no longer part of the program. And then it says doctors are barred to use the death tome due to illegal, illegible writing. That's amazing. No doctors can use it. And it says something over eyes or similar cutesy doodles will result in the immediate death of the writer. Oh my God, so you can't doodle in it. Combined with the death tome, books or magazine. Not to be combined with, not to be combined with death books or magazine. Genius Simpsons, genius. And she's like, and I love that, that yeah, it's the bully because he's like, ha ha, I'll totally get away with murder. And then he dies by heart attack. Jailbird. Oh my God. And then I love that he goes, death. <laughs> As he falls down. And Lisa's like, oh my God, I killed someone. I just love the dramatic anime, like shifting of the hair in the wind. And then we cut to her upstairs and there's like, there is no planet B. Like the poster on her wall and she has a saxophone. And the computer, like, it looks kind of like Light's room in the setup, but it's definitely Lisa's. And she's like, wait, I killed a bad man. This makes me a hero. And her eyes get red. Like, it's just, it's just like Light. And he says, I love that Ryuk's like, it's rare to find a bloodthirsty vegetarian. 
every line in this is gold. I absolutely love this. And the way they drew Krusty S. Ryuk with like the body. I can't, I can't. And then yeah, he's like, I'm a Shinigami, a god of death, like to explain to the English audiences, right? In my realm, I'm called Steve Johnson. And I love these, like there was like three like nymph nymphibias in my cave when I was born. He's like, well, I was born eons ago, so Steve was a very exotic name. There was like three necro necroblivious. Ah! I love it. In the nursery cave alone. It's great. She's like, well, this must be your death tome. And I love that we established that there isn't a consequence for killing with it. And he's like, but he says now it's yours since you've used it. And I love that murder's almost addictive as plastic surgery. Amazing. Just great. And then he's like, oh, I haven't had any plastic surgery. Nothing, not that there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> it's so good. And then, yeah, so Mr. Burns is over at the house. I, God, I can't get over, like, the detail of the detail of everything. And you see Bart Simpson on his, like, test on the board where it says D minus instead of F. And then, yeah, so you get the idea that he's in this world, too. But, yeah, Burns drinking the sake with Homer. Amazing. And she says that she's going to kill him. She's going to kill him by sleeping after he's like, I'm going to drown all these people in my global warm scheme so I can park my yacht by the kitchen. And Lisa decides to, like, enact justice. Right? And, of course, because it's the Simpsons, he doesn't just die by sleeping. He falls into the hibachi grill. And that was so disturbing. Amazing. She's like, oops. <laughs> and she's like, that was much crueler than I had planned. And then she's like, but I did save the world. And then Ryuk points out the obvious, well, now there are more people that are controlling the company to take his place. So what are you going to do about them? And so she kills them through all the various means. I feel like a lot of them are in ways that people have died in other horror films. Like, I feel like there's an old 80s film where, like, a snake or something came out of a toilet to kill someone. And I don't think there's anything with the names. I think the names are all, like, just random. I don't think they're anything crazy. And then she, like, yeah, does the tan quick 3000. And she's like, oh, I love it. She's like, he was liquefied in a giant blender. It's a different setting than pureed. <laughs> but yeah, and so then... We have Bart as L. Bart as L was a bit of a stretch, but then again, who else could it have been? Who else could it have been? No, no, he's L. L. Barto. Oh my God. I love they also have J.R.R. Toys. Like it's J.R.R. Toystein. Great. And of course, Lisa is figured out. I love that. I love how the expressions on Lisa's face as light get crazier and crazier. Kind of like lights get crazier and crazier. That part is amazing, and I love it. And she's like, well, I'll sleep easier once they catch... I love that Ryuk's like, well, I'll sleep easier once they catch the super killer. And she's like, I'll just kill L. And he's like, oh, and then, and then I love that Steve Johnson points out, he's like, I thought you were just killing people to save the planet. Like, now killing L will only save yourself from prison. Like, that's not justice, right? And she goes, the line, I don't have time to explain why what I do is good and pure, is the most perfect line for this series. Because anytime Light's like, well, Light, isn't this complicating your whole sense of justice? They're like, I don't have time to explain why I'm pure. <laughs> God, I love it. I love it so much. And they're like punched to death. And then you have to have the whole name. And then, of course, she figures out El Barto. And then I love that we have in the street alley, Bart in the pose of L with the crazy hair and the eye bags. Like, I love the, how they made him. Like, it has the clothes and everything. I found out from your stupider book, your diary. <laughs> and he even holds it like L. It's, they did their homework. They did their homework. Your little murder spree was a welcome break from Ginny is so, Janie is so mean to me. She's like, I'm not a murderer. I'm justice. It was a justice spree. Now I want Light to have said it was a justice spree. That would have been amazing. I'm saving the world and you can't stop me. And then I like that. I like that Barton, this is like, you're actually going to kill me? Like there was a part of this that actually kind of makes me go, oh, damn. 
yeah, like Bart's like, well, we're family. We're friends. You're going to kill me? You love me, right? And it's it's like Ellen Light. I'm like, wow, this is surprisingly on the nose. And now, of course, in the original Death Note, Light cannot write Ryuk's name in the Death Note and kill him. That's not how it works. In this version, Lisa can. So, But the twist of Lisa becoming the Shinigami after Ryuk dies... That part is something that I was like, I was honestly waiting for that to happen to Light. I thought in this series that Light would like eventually become a Shinigami after he died. I thought that's how the story was going to end. And so Lisa becoming a Shinigami at the end is how I thought the actual Death Note was going to end. And I've not read the manga yet, so no spoilers if that is a change the manga makes. Um, but I thought that was going to be the case. So, at least in the Simpsons parody, I get that ending. <laughs> and I like that Lisa as the Shinigami, like, runs off with, with Bart. So, what an ending that would have been if Elle had became a Shinigami and, like, went with, with, went with Elle as Elle was solving crimes. And Elle doesn't use the death note but just keeps light as a Shinigami around. Can someone write that AU? Can that, can that, can that AU be a fic that I read? <laughs> this was amazing. I loved this so much. This was wonderful. And I'm really glad that I, it was worth getting Hulu just to see this parody. I mean, obviously I'm going to be using it for other series, but it was worth it. Worth it to have it for this. I absolutely love that. All right. I'm probably going to go watch the rest of the Simpsons Halloween episode because this episode is really good so far, but I... Definitely worth watching the parody. I will say that. I absolutely loved it. So, hmm. But yeah, so I, that's what I got <laughs> for this. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little extra bonus thing uh, for Sunday, looking at this Death Note parody. I hope y'all enjoyed that. But yeah, my plan is that next week on Saturday, uh, next week on Saturday will be the live action uh, Death Note from Netflix, That Garbage Fire. Can't wait for that. And then uh, we will be starting Bungo Stray Dogs Season 4, but on Sundays, I'll be doing in the afternoons uh, Death Note the Musical, looking at the manga as well. So I'm going to still have some Death Note stuff to go. And then later on, who knows, might do other Death Note stuff down the road. But those two things alongside the Netflix are at least things that I do want to do. So exciting times, right? But yeah, y'all. I'm so glad I watched this, but I hope you all have a wonderful week. Please stay safe, take care, and yeah, I'll be back very soon with more Death Note.